conduction module TCM are trying to remove these chips. Um, yeah, obviously uh, the solution is, well, hopefully, a preheater. Um, <coughs> that's, uh, yeah, I've got my fume hood um, here, as you can see. Anyway, I've got my preheater here. I've set it for uh, 200 degrees, so hopefully, like, it can go higher than that, but, yeah, I don't know. It, like, just the fumes in here are not good, so, yeah, I probably shouldn't even, like, do this out here. I might actually move it into uh, the sealed room and just let it heat up and <coughs> yeah, it's not great, even though I'm sucking the fumes away. Um, I have tried to get most of the oil um, off here, so yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this is not fun. I'm uh, testing the temperature of it. It's now up to 50 degrees on the top uh, surface of the uh, ceramic here, so I'm, you know, and, and the plate's up to um, yeah, it's regulated at 200 now. There's a little uh, sensor under there. That's that's where it's actually getting uh, So it's getting it from that plate there, but the whole idea is to heat up this whole uh, Ceramic thing. Oh, this is not good to 200 degrees No, nah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Is it not? Nah, I'm gonna have to move it <laughs> Yeah, so the whole idea is to uh, get that up to say 200 degrees and then hit it with the uh, hot air gun and hopefully then uh, once the chip is already preheated up that's the whole idea of these preheaters these are for you know large thermal mass boards BGAs and you know there's stuff like that that are really normally are uh, difficult uh, to solder because the uh, PCB the substrate in this case a 60 layer PCB um, is uh, yeah and a, a big ceramic job so it's yeah you know, it's <laughs> probably the biggest thermal mass you'll ever see on a PCB actually so yeah I'll raise it up to 200 hit it with the hot air gun if that doesn't work then I might try and heat the whole thing up to 350 or something like that so I'm gonna have to leave it there for a while because that's a massive like it's just getting the radiant heat from the bottom it's not actually uh, con it's not actually touching the plate down the bottom. I could actually sit it on the plate, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> so what I've got now is I've actually uh, put it down directly onto the plate there, so it should uh, let it heat up a bit quicker. It's still going to take the same temperature. It'll just maybe take a bit less uh, time to do it. It's still only, like, it's up to 70 degrees, so it's getting there. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a large thermal mass, so we'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, yeah, 200 degrees is the target temperature on top. So the hot plate, I can see, yeah, that's it. Yep, oh, geez, it's pretty, almost bang on <laughs> to my uh, infrared uh, thermometer here. And uh, the fumes mostly seem to have gone, so I don't know where that was. It could have, like I wiped it, I haven't used my hot plate in a while. I did wipe the dust off it. Maybe it was that. But anyway, I've got this uh, fan on uh, full. I've got my other uh, lab, um, uh, purifier fan on and yeah I'll just uh, let it go and see what happens I can still smell it a bit so just to use uh, precautions I don't know what's coming off this thing so <laughs> I've got the mask on <laughs> none of that N95 rubbish <laughs> hope you can still hear me oh yeah yeah I think the mic's working no worries all right well only up to 108 ah oh, come on 150. Let's give it a go. Set to 350. It's not quite there yet, but I'll give it a go anyway. No, not budging. Ooh, no, not a sausage. All right, I don't like the smell in here. This is taking way too long. I think I'm going to quit this uh, experiment, uh, take it home in the open air and do it there because this is just, nah. Even, even with the mask, I don't want to fill up the room. I don't like it. Even with all my uh, filtering and whatnot, even the aircon going, nah.